Capital, let's get on with the show. This is Genshin1913, and we're Let's Playing Dragon Quest VIII. In the last episode, we met Boron. And now he's gonna tell us about that powder. What? Master Felix gave it to you. This is unbelievable. And Boron can speak. Now I finally understand. I thought it was a bit strange. I just kept going round and round and round in circles. You've been a great help. If you hadn't come, I might have been wandering around here forever. You might have. Would you mind opening that bottle? and sprinkling the powder around. Sure, we can do that for you, buddy. Oh. If you see Master Felix again, I'd like you to give him a message from me. Tell him that I Oh, poor and Kitty. Good health on your journey. Oh. I wish I didn't have to cut this part into two. It's sad. <gasps> the hero's like, what's going on? And oh, uh, Borum is going to heaven. Oh, poor Kitty. He is gone. Oh. I guess him and Felix were buddies. All right, let's talk to our party members and see what they have to say about that. No, I don't want you to talk about Baccarat. What the hell? Weren't you people just watching that whole scene? Damn you, you people are heartless. All right, let's head back to... No, you're, you're still not going to talk about Borum, are you? You bastards. Well, anyways, let's return to Chateau Felix. And we will, uh, I guess, tell Felix the news. On how we had to put down his friend's soul. Just like you'd put down your best buddy, your pet buddy. Mm, Alright, now you're gonna say, now you're gonna talk. Nice. Yeah. Oh, look at that, maybe. Maybe you'll give her some leopard thing. Yeah, I guess he'll be happy that we did what he wanted. Hey, Tom, Major Tom. That's right, we're back. And we're here to tell Felix that we finished the job. Mission complete. Snake! Felix. Righto, good boy. What ho! Finally made it back, I see. And you managed to give my old charm a leg up. What you got to say, Felix? That strange tree where you met him has been known since ancient times as the Tree of Sticks. It's Sticks all like too the band. Very easy to lose your way around it, not realizing that your innings is over. But That's now he's reference? realized what's happened to him, and he's safely on his way to the afterlife. Oh. You know he, Boren was the first Sabercat ever to open up his heart to me. Absolutely terrific chap. It's thanks to him that I've got where I am today. And that's precisely why I couldn't leave the job unattended to go and help the old boy myself. Hmm? Okay. What am I doing? Of course, I haven't explained yet, eh? Yeah, what are you I'm doing? I'm the chairman of the great Sabercat Trust. I know. 
Why don't I make you a member? It's the least I can do after all your help. Sure. You Yay. have this. It shows you're one of us. What is it? Ooh, it's a bell. The now bell remember the great saber cat membership. It'll call a nearby saber cat if you ring it in the right place. Cool. What's the bell called? Well, it doesn't really have a name. I suppose that'd make it a bit of a pig to you, say. Righto! How about we call it Bormran's Pear, eh? In memory of a good friend and a fine old chip. Thanks, Colonel Mustard. Yeah. Someone mentioned he sounded Thanks like that. Thanks for your help. Remember now, always keep the saber cats in your heart. What? Thanks, man. Hell yeah! Now with Borm's bell, we can uh, we can now summon saber cats wherever we want. And now that we're a member of the Great Saber Cat Trust, the Great Saber Cat Trust, we can summon saber cats outside. And, uh, you know, ride them whenever we want. Yay! No, force donations out of people. I don't think this is the type of group that would do that. Alright, they're not PETA. Even though PETA, I guess, is alright. But, you know. Alright, I feel for the animals, but stop making me see that thing, Sarah McLaughlin. You're making me sad when I have to see your video of the poor animals. I don't want to see it. I know they're bad and I help out as much as I can. Anyways, let's uh... Let's talk to this saber cat. Barongo! Alright, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to Tom. What the hell? Tom, damn it. Yeah, now we can have him come anywhere in the world. Yay! So there's the side quest we just finished. Now we can head on to Baccarat. Yay! For Baccarat. Huzzah! I says, huzzah! So let's show you how the Borum Bell works. It's in our bag. No, we're never gonna set a trap for him, alright, Jessica? Alright, we're always just gonna keep following his coattails. So here's his bell. Use the bell and look. I'll be your friend, Barongo. Look at that. And now we are on our buddy. Yay! So let's head over to Baccarat. Hooray for saber cats! Wow! Chateau de Felix. It's not the Chateau of the Bad Neighbor like uh, Charlie Brown. Bon Voyage Charlie Brown, anyone remember that episode? Look, there it is, Baccarat. What's that? Is that our ship over there? Oh, because we warped over towards Felix's Chateau. It's probably closer. And oh, look at that, our alchemy pot is done. What will do we have? Oh yeah, some chili cheese. Now if we put... I think if we put chili... Uh, I'm thinking if we put chili cheese with two water weed molds, we'll get some c cold cheese or something like that. Cold as ice. Paradise. The chopping broccoli. Alright, here we are in the infamous town of Baccarat. Which is also, I believe, a card game. So here we are. What do these guys have to say? But he already left town? What are you trying to say? Yeah, maybe we can catch him here. Yeah, let's search the town head to toe. No cupboard being stuff, no whatever. Yeah, we gotta find the person he's gonna try to kill and protect him, because that's been his M.O in the past couple of towns. So let's check how many treasures are here. Ah, uh, don't be a high number like 20. Ah, oh, it's 22. Damn. 
Welcome to Baccarat, world of the largest casino, but it's closed right now. Why? Why is it closed? Can you explain, fat lady? Ah. Golding, huh? I remember someone saying something about Golding and Pickham. Maybe about them owing him some money, so he must be very rich. Or a big bully. He's a bear of a man, but he's actually all. Oh. He abandoned the church and left them as their. Oh, oh, he took them. All right, fair enough. I thought he abandoned them and then took them again or something. I can't read the text, obviously. I guess this Golding is a huge fella, and he's got a kind heart, and he is the mayor. I don't know what the hell he is. We will find out, won't we? Let's jump down this well. Nada. Look at that. Nothing down this well. So let's continue to continue to look around. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's see here. What do we have here? We've got an, a well, a church, an inn, a casino, a weapons and armor shop, which we should check out. Oh, we haven't seen Golding in a while. Hey, Dwarf Man, sell me your goods. Ooh, a poison needle, that's a good item. And there's some other good items too we want to buy. Poison needle, we're going to need it for alchemy. Uh, yes. Uh, gold hairpin, let's buy one. For Jessica. Light shields. We don't need them, but I need another gold hairpin for alchemy. And I think that's it for now. We'll come back and purchase other things later. Let's see here. I can make a golden thing. Of my... What the hell am I making here? Let's see here. I want to make a... I'm not making anything, obviously. That was a complete waste of time. But I will... Next episode, I will make some alchemy things. It's just I couldn't remember anything off the top of my head. And I need, I'm pretty sure you need that gold hairpin for something. One of them. I think you add, like, something silver, and it turns it into a silver headband, if I'm not mistaken. So let's look in this, this little house here. Break their pots. Steal what I can from wherever cause you know who's gonna stop me? I haven't seen anyone stop me yet ooh assassins ooh a dagger and a poisonous thing a sharp dagger that's I think the no the assassin's dagger is the second best knife in the game hey man Oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. People battling over inheritances. Seems like real life. Alright, let's see here. What else? Oh, nothing over there. Let's go in there anyways. Maybe we can steal the weapon and armor dealer's things. Because again, what is he gonna... We should just take his stuff from in here and sell it back to him. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be cool? Oh, where were they going? They were out for blood? What kind of blood? Like, O positive or O negative? Were they literally looking for blood? Or were they out to kill someone? That's what I want to know. I think they were out to kill someone. That's my take on it. Anyways, yeah, you can buy Amo Seco Essence here. And, yeah. Should be interesting. Yeah, you can buy that to make more cheat, you know, more mild cheeses. So you can heal yourself if you want. Ever since the mansion was burglarized, golden servants have been quite on edge. Oh, that's right, Mr. Brainy. So, yeah, that house over there is where golden servants are. Well, let's, to uh, progress the story more, we'd have to uh, go that way. I think. And then look at this casino. Why won't they open? 
Couldn't they be open, but not open, you know what I mean? And look, there's an alleyway and a big house right there. And you know what? And here's a poet. I was a friend of the family of the bodyguard. A blah, 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 the dark ruins. You don't have a clue where the dark ruins are. Anyways, we'll have to continue exploring Baccarat later.